What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are focusing on lighting. So, we have some massive boxes here. Basically, we have a couple of stands and we have the actual lights. This is massive, by the way. This is like bigger than my body. Today, we have Niwa products that were bought off Amazon. These apparently are really, really good. So, I'm excited to actually delve into these lights and, and you know, open these up. So. Let's actually show you what these lights actually are. I love opening boxes. It feels like Christmas every single time that I open a box. I love it. Awesome. So we have one. We have two. And three. So yes, we have not only one. But we have two and three of these Niwa LED lights. These are called the NL200As. And the reason why I got these is because they're basically called pancake lights. So they're really like small in diameter, which basically means that I can fill more in the room. And there's three of them. So that means that I can get like left, right, behind. I can get all the lighting. And then on top of that, I also got this package, which is some lighting stands by Niwa as well. They're a great brand. <laughs> you have to use so much force and pressure to open these. So yeah, so we have two lighting stands because we have one here and I have another one just in case for a backup. Let's definitely start with the actual Niwa LED light. I feel like that would be the best place to start with this. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta find out if it's actually worth buying these at the same time. Hopefully they are worth buying because I bought three of them. Oh, amazing. Okay. So it comes in this like plastic bag and I believe inside this plastic bag there is another bag with a case for the actual light. This is pretty nice, pretty nice quality. So they have got a Velcro here and that'll just open up and let's actually check out this light. Boom. Okay, so it comes with your instructions of how to use it and the actual light. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, that is awesome. So the great thing about these lights is they are like diffused as well. So that means that you have enough light coming out with the diffuser and you can sort of pan and tilt it as you like. And if you want to tilt the pan, you could do that and then actually tighten it up using these parts. And then you have the controls at the back. You can control your brightness and your luminosity, I believe it's called, where it's sort of like if it's daylight temperature. Yeah, and you can control them using this knob and then you got the power on and off button and the actual insert connection there. Have a look what's inside as well. So also we have the power cable and connector. So we have this over here that'll just go in the back like that. Perfect. And we have this over here, which is the other part of the connection. Okay, so the connection, let's see how long this can go. This can probably go about, I would say, two to three meters, I would say, in length, which is quite good for the power. Awesome, look at that. Absolutely awesome. Woo, that's bright. All right, so we can control the brightness just using the knob. So if you click on brightness, we can actually control it. And then if we want to change the, the K value, we can do that using the, the plus and the minus scroll. So it goes down to 32K all the way up to 56K. I would say maybe around here would be good, like 5,000. I kind of like that. And then if I want to change my brightness, I could have it as low as possible and that's as low as it can go. And then that's as bright as it can get at 
that's as bright as it is. So that's pretty good. I probably have it around maybe 30% overall. So imagine that times three. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is the Niwa stand as well. So that's just that normal connection that we have. You just open this up, just expand it that way and also expand it because we have two more expansions here at the top. There we go. So you have two extra expansions right there. So let's pop that on. Aha, so that needs to go in a bit further. Now that adjusts and can be put in. So that's a mistake that I made that I didn't put it in all the way on the stand. And now that I have it on the stand, it's fantastic. I might as well take this desk out of the way. I do appreciate the packaging that these come in. They are very nice and high quality, I would say. Now we can have a bit more light coming at me and that hopefully looks a little bit better. So if we have that out the, out the shot, that's what it'll look like. These are relatively really quick and easy to set up too, which is something that I really like about this. They literally just, you open this up, you just plug it in there like that. And now that's connected. And then you just connect this other end to the power source and it's ready to be used. So like I was saying before, this is how we do it. So we basically have this on button. We just turn that on and that'll turn on and we can just press this button here for the brightness value and we can adjust that as a suit. So that's at 100. So if we just turn that down, that's now at like 15. And then we can change our sort of luminosity value. So I like to have mine at about 5,000. So that's what we're gonna do. So now that's what it looks like at 3%. Perfect. And that's how I'm gonna use it. So now we have two lights that are gonna be on me. How much better does that look? And this is the Niwa stand. So basically to just open up, pop this open like that, and then this will pop up. And we have a second adjustment there too. So that's really nice to have. Let's put our light on. So the easy way to do it is we want to basically get this screw all the way out. So we wanna do that. And then we can just pop this on like that. And then this will just fall all the way in like that as much as possible. But you gotta make sure it's fully on, not like as it is. We need it to be fully on. There we go. Now it's definitely in because we popped it in. So now we can adjust the screw and now it's fully on and in. So now we can adjust it to the same height as this one. And we can have so two points of lighting. Oh man, in terms of the heat, I'm already sweating with these lights on. So it's gonna be quite an interesting challenge sort of using these lights at all times. Cause we know the heat that these things produce. One thing that I didn't mention before is you could actually use this without the connection. So you have two batteries that I can use. They would take the NL200A 30 watt power batteries. So if you have two of those, you can actually use them without actually having them connected, which is really good. So that means you're not using wires. I think what I like about these lights is they seem like really easy to use. And I like how they're built. They're very like small and lightweight to use. So you could definitely take these around. They come with this really nice bag as well. And you can buy lots of them because what, they're only about 150 each. So you can actually get quite a couple of these lights and get a three point lighting setup for pretty cheap. So now we have all three lights enabled and it's, yeah, it's very bright. I like it. This is the light that we're moving up from, by the way, we're moving up from this Amaran H528S. If anyone knows what this light is, it's pretty damn good actually. I've used it for quite a while. It's just nice to upgrade from it. So the problem with using all these wires is now it just gets a bit messy, I guess. So now I have all three lights on. This is sort of like the idea of what I'm going for. We have like a headlight, but I think we better in a different position. We have light A and we have light B. Maybe light B could be like a little bit less. 
we could do that. Have that there. Or I feel like maybe that could be there. That'll be a bit better. So we want it about there, I would say. So we have this light now here, that's going directly to here. And now we have this other light that's counterbalancing it. Maybe we could adjust this. That's full brightness or brightness a bit lower. That's with it off, that's with it on. So we can have that a bit less. Yeah, I would say like that looks okay. And then maybe for the headlight, we could have it sort of above. We could have this a little bit higher. That hair light can go sort of there or maybe a bit closer to the back. So yeah, so now I have light here, a light right there. Let's see, I feel like the headlight is a bit too much because you can see too much shine. I reckon that's, that's not too bad. And let's say we could change like maybe some color temperature. We could add some warmth into the shots. Like if we go 4,000 on here, but the rest is all at 5,000, this is what this would look like. But maybe that's a bit too orange. Maybe about 48,000 might be good. Sort of like that daylight temperature. I reckon 48 might be good. Yeah, I feel like maybe this could be higher. Sort of panning down a little bit. Yeah tilt this down as well. So now, that's now, the lighting is going down this way. Anyway, we could experiment with this for hours and keep changing it up to try and find the shot. So if anyone has any tips for lighting, that would be actually fantastic. But overall, pretty decent experience with these lights. I think they're okay. And I can't wait to use them a bit more and learn about lighting a bit more. Thank you for watching, guys.